Hello and welcome to Matt Parker's Maths Puzzles. I'm Matt Parker and the Maths Puzzle this time is the marching band problem. So we have a marching band of, to start with, six people. Actually, can we get some marching band music? We can, I'm being told. We, there we go. That's some nice royalty-free marching band music. And now that that is happening, you can see the band is marching across the across me. There you are, across the screen until they're over there. So there you are. That's one way the marching band could march across the screen if there were six people in the band in a whole line of six people going backwards and forwards. However. There are other options. So what if the six people rearrange themselves to be in a two by three arrangement? And now they march their way across the screen and then back and they could switch around to a three by two, which is different to the two by three because there's a direction, right? Because they're going that way, right? And so that, that the orientation is important, right? And then uh, finally, was that's three so far. The fourth one is they all just line up one big long line, like just advancing as, as a whole uh, line of uh, marching music playing people. So, if you had a uh, band with six people in it and you had the kind of band leader, the person in charge of your band, I should have done more research into marching bands before doing this puzzle. If they were particularly obsessive and they're like, you know what, we are doing every possible arrangement, like, but there's no like leftover people. There's no one person at the front throwing a thing in the air of, or, obviously I know the word for that, but if you don't, I guess just look it up, see what it is. Throwing that, the thing in the air, right? They, they, they don't want any kind of weird arrangement. It's gotta be a block of people, and they wanna do every single one. So they're not just gonna do a subset, or a strict subset, they're gonna do every single possible arrangement. The puzzle this time is, how many people would you need to convince to join your marching band so you have 64 different options? Now, let's just clarify, because the band leader is quite obsessive, you can't have more than 64. So for example, if I said, how many do you need to do seven possible arrangements? You might go, you know what? I'll just get 24. That is a highly divisible number. But 24, there's actually eight different arrangements. And there's no number equal to or less than 24, which will do just seven. So the puzzle is, how many people do you need to do exactly that many of arrangements? No more, no fewer. And it's the minimum number of people. So you don't just pick some crazy big number which works. I want the first number as you work your way up through bigger and bigger bands so you don't have to convince too many people to join your marching band that it works for. So actually if you want to do a, a test go see if you can solve it for seven for a bit of fun but the submittable part if you go on to the Think Maths uh, website where you can put in your answer what is the fewest people required for a marching band where there are 64 different ways they can march across the whatever. It's, it's, it's an arbitrarily big surface that they're marching across. And there's no, there's no tricky business. There's no negative people in the band. They're all very positive, can-do people. Uh, it's not a, a zero, it's not the null band. That doesn't count. There's no half people. You don't, they're not being rounded. It's a positive whole number of people in the band, as is the case with most marching bands in my experience. And if you do any extra exploratory work into the marching band problem, do drop me an email to mattpluspuzzles at standupmaths.com. I can think already of some fun ways you might want to do a more exhaustive search into how this uh, family of marching band problems could be solved. So let me know what you get up with. And I think we've all had enough of this music now, so goodbye. <laughs>